Hey guys, it's been a little bit since I've worked with Edible Beauty, um, but they actually wanted me to talk about their new wellness products. I have talked to you guys about these a bit before. Um, I've reviewed this one a couple of times on my channel, the Beauty Do Hair, Skin, and Nail Support, because I really enjoy it. And they wanted me to sort of talk about them more. They wanted me to focus on them. And I was trying to think of like a fun idea that I can sort of uh, put these into. And so what I've got for you today, um, in partnership with Edible Beauty, they are sponsoring this video. It's healthy habits to adopt in 2021 that have nothing to do with like dieting or weight loss um, or anything really related to sort of like changing your body. It's more about um, what in my, what, what I've, in my mind, what I've got what I'm thinking is, <laughs> is this has a lot more to do with like mental health, um, sort of internal, uh, internal health, not so much like on a weight loss, you know, I'm, that's not really what I'm focusing on here. It's more just like internal gut health, just internal wellness, um, you know, so you radiating from the inside out, just healthy habits, healthy habits that have nothing to do with like dieting or weight loss. I'm hoping that this is making sense um, because I had this idea because the last year has been really hard for a lot of people, myself included. I've battled <laughs> mental health stuff quite a bit over the last year. Um, I haven't worked out at the gym or really paid any mind to what I'm putting in my body in almost the last year. The last, I went to the, you know, I used to go to the gym a lot. Um, I, we had to stop going to the gym in March because of everything that's happened. Um, they reopened, um, but the way that they reopened, I wasn't really happy with, you know, I mean, I have a kid and they have a daycare there and that's where he was going when we would go to the gym, but it, it just, it became sort of almost like isolating for him to be there. They wouldn't let him play on the equipment and there were no other kids. They just kept like telling him, no, he couldn't do stuff the whole time. So he was pretty upset and it was kind of traumatic for him. So we just decided to uh, nix the gym until this stuff, you know, ends and we're able to go back to normal and, you know, kids can play together again. <laughs> so yes, the gym is out of the question for who knows how long. Um, and, you know, honestly, working full time, homeschooling, being home 24 seven, um, I'm, that's not really what's, <laughs> that's not really what's on my mind right now is sort of like, getting fit or losing weight or anything like that. It's more what I, what I more want to focus on in 2021. And what I think most people should probably focus on is just sort of like mental health and sort of like internal wellness, like gut health, you know, just sort of in ways to improve your health, ways to improve your health, healthy habits to adopt. So that's the premise of this video. I've got a list of things that are attainable for everybody to do um, and just hopefully getting our mental health in check in 2021, because Lord knows I need to. So what Edible Beauty specifically wanted to focus on is their two newest wellness products. They do have some powder wellness products that you mix in to drinks or smoothies or whatever. Um, there's like some vegan collagen, and I think there's another sort of like probiotic gut powder. Um, we can talk about that as a, those at a later time, but the two that we want to focus on today are the Beauty Detox Shot Liver Support and the Beauty Do Hair, Skin, and Nail Support. So like I said, they did release these last year, I believe around last summer. So I have had quite a bit of experience with um, these products in particular. So the Beauty Do Hair, Skin and Nail Support is actually my favorite wellness um, sort of like supplement product. So these are things that you take, um, they're supplements. So definitely do your due diligence, talk to your doctor, make your own informed decision on whether or not these things make sense in your life or that they're, they're even things that you wanna take or incorporate. But I really love these products. I've used them for quite a bit. As I've said, I've seen some results using them. I really enjoy using them. I really like the ingredients. So that's why I'm comfortable talking to you about them. So the Beauty Do Hair, Skin, and Nail Support is my favorite, one, because of the taste. <laughs> um, the other one does have a bit of like an off-putting taste, um, but this one, so it tastes really good. It's, it's what I kind of like am looking for in like a wellness product. Like I want it to do things to support 
my skin and my hair and my nails and all that and I think this does a really good job. So this berry flavored liquid elixir is designed to help you achieve healthy hair, skin, and nails. Beauty Dew contains a highly bioavailable form of silica along with vitamin C and zinc to encourage healthy collagen production. It also has been formulated with a proprietary extract of black rice and prickly pear, which have been shown to reduce hair loss by working on hormone imbalances. And then the result is you can strengthen the integrity of your skin connective tissue, which improves firmness, elasticity, most importantly appearance, whilst maintaining beautiful hair and strong nails. So the benefits of this are obviously um, stronger and healthier hair, skin, and nails. And then it can also help men and women vitalize lackluster and thinning hair. So the botanical actives are the Actrosave TM, which is a blend of black rice and prickly pear extracts, which act from the inside to support skin conditions and hair loss linked to hormone balance. And then there's silica, which is a highly bioavailable form of silica. It has the ability to, to support collagen production and strengthen connective tissue, making it a key beauty mineral. Silica in the skin nourishes, regenerates, and boosts collagen strength. Your skin elasticity is a factor of collagen content and silica determines collagen levels. Silica takes all the nutrients to your nails, helping not only to impart strength, but also feeds your nail beds with all the vital nutrients for encouraging healthy and strong nails. There's zinc, which is needed for building new connective tissue, and it's essential for maintaining healthy skin, hair, and nails. It can help balance oil production in both your skin and hair follicles, keeping oily skin and hair in balance. Along with vitamin C and silica, zinc also supports the formation of collagen, which is a structural component of your skin and hair follicles. And then there's acerola, which is an abundant source of vitamin C along with antioxidants. It supports healthy collagen production and boosts skin firmness and elasticity. It also contains beauty boosting B vitamins and minerals such as iron, phosphorus, and calcium, uh, plus flavonoids to protect your skin from free, rad free radical damage. So you wanna take this once a day. I like to do it in the morning right when I wake up. So I will mix two teaspoons of this in with a eight ounce glass of ice water. And then I drink that just sort of as like my morning hydration, like pick me up. I've used, I think this is my third bottle of this that I've used completely. And when I'm using this consistently, but with both of these, you do want to use them consistently to see results. If you sort of like take a shot of this, you know, once a week or something like that, you're probably not going to see any kind of results. It's when you take these things consistently that you're going to see any kind of results in your skin or your hair, especially because it takes a while to see those kinds of results anyway. And if you're not consistent with it, um, you won't see any kind of results. So yeah, I take this one in the morning. It tastes very nice. It's like a very nice berry flavor. You mix it with water, you drink it in the morning. At least that's when I take it. And when I do take this consistently, I do see a difference in my skin, especially. My hair, not so much. I mean, I have, I guess, pretty average hair loss. I. The, the only time I really had any kind of substantial hair loss was postpartum. Now it's just sort of probably natural, natural hair loss, a, a normal amount. Um, but my hair is really healthy. Um, so I definitely think it helps with keeping the hair healthy, you know, the new growth um, and skin, especially I've noticed like a clearing of my skin, just a general like radiance when I take this pretty consistently. Um, and even if that's all maybe psychological, uh, cause sometimes I wonder if some of these things sometimes are psychological or if they actually are, you know, you're seeing results, um, or it just like is a product of your mental health or whatever, because when I'm feeling good, you know, mentally, I tend to think that I look better than when I'm feeling, you know, in, like when I'm in not a good place, then I just sort of feel like dull and lackluster. And I think it, it sort of depends on that too, is just how you're doing mentally. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed that. I've seen results. I've continued to, uh, I've continued to use that and buy it. So I really love that. The other one here is the one that's a little bit harder to sort of get. <laughs> it's a little bit harder just because of the taste of it. This is the Beauty Detox Shot Liver Support. If you've tried every product on the market but still battle with problematic skin, perhaps you're overlooking the liver. So a, slug a sluggish liver um, can mean a slow clearance of hormones from your body, which often leads to excess oil production from sebum producing cells. Then comes clogged and breakout prone skin, as well as feeling tired, bloated, and even experiencing unbearable premenstrual syndrome. To help, this beauty detox shot supports the normal function of your liver to help promote a healthy complexion from the inside out. 
This formula contains liver-loving nutrients, including choline. It also blends traditional digestive supportive herbs such as burdock root and globe artichoke, along with antioxidant-rich turmeric to enhance the detoxification process. So it helps to improve your overall health and vitality from the inside out. Um, the elixir stimulates the ability to clean toxic waste from your body and balance hormones. Um, obviously that's something that you're going to have to talk to your doctor about, sort of like get your hormone levels. Um, and then maybe in like a couple of months, check them again and see if this has made any kind of real difference in your hormones instead of just a perceived difference. But again, the, when I'm taking this kind of product consistently, I am noticing a difference in my skin and I am noticing a difference in just the overall feel I've got in my body. Um, than when I'm not taking something like this. So it is very bitter. Um, this one is, it tastes really good and you can just mix it with water and drink it fine. This one is a little bit harder to get down though I have heard that their newest batches of this taste better, less bitter. They're still bitter, but not as bitter, which are which make it a little bit easier to get down. But the best way that I've found to take this is to take a literal shot of it. So I just, I pour it in a shot glass, I take a shot and then I just immediately drink a bunch of water right after to sort of help minimize the uh, the taste of it in my mouth. So it isn't the most pleasant, um, but I do feel really good when I take this and I do notice a difference in my skin. And I have been taking this pretty consistently for the last few weeks. And on top of some really amazing skincare that I've been using, I do think this has made a difference in the internal you know, the internal stuff that comes out in your skin as well. Because if, if for my skin especially, a lot of how my skin looks is based on how, um, you know, like my diet, it's based on like internal factors. It's not really based that much on external factors. It's pretty much hormone and diet related. And as long as I've got my like hormones and diets in check, um, you know, my skin tends to do really well. Like right now it's looking really well. It's looking really well. It's looking really good. And that's in combination of, you know, improved internal function as well as some, you know, skincare. You guys saw the Ficlo Beauty skincare that I did. You know, the, the Ficlo skincare video I did earlier this week, and that has made a huge difference in my skin as well. So those are the two products we wanted to focus on specifically. And then some other healthy habits to adopt in 2021 that have like nothing to do with diet and exercise, because let's be real, a lot of us just aren't thinking about that. We're just thinking about surviving. <laughs> um, that's how most of my day is spent. It's like how I am going to survive this day, how I am going to get to the next day. Uh, because there are some days where it definitely feels like I'm not going to get through this day. <laughs> I mean, like I've come on here a couple of times in the last year and told you guys that I'm like in a really bad place mentally. And right now I'm doing okay, but I definitely do have days where I just sit and cry because the weight of the world just feels like it's on my shoulders and I just, I don't know how to get through it. So on top of supplements and like internal wellness and, um, just like getting all that stuff in check. Some things that I'm really focusing on doing this year are just like a lot of little things that to improve mood and mental health, as well as like my internal wellness in a way that's not, I'm not really focusing on like my weight or what my body looks like. I'm just really focusing on internal wellness and mental health, especially. Um, first though, uh, this, isn't, this doesn't have to do with like weight. I mean, this can be a byproduct you know, weight loss and can, can be a byproduct of like cutting these specific things out. But one thing that I'm really focusing on this year and I think that everybody should be focusing on is cutting out inflammatory foods and drink from your diet. Like for me, sugar is a super inflammatory food and it always freaks my skin out. Um, I really, I, I've known that for a long time, but I really came to terms with it last year after a few really bad f inflammation flare ups. So cutting out really high inflammation foods Figuring out what your triggers are is is a good idea. It's it sucks. <laughs> I mean, to cut out something that you love, like I really love donuts. Does it suck to cut it out? Yeah. But what feels better? Is does feeling good all of the time feel better than eating a donut and having that sort of just like high for five minutes and then feeling like crap for like days and weeks afterwards? So for me, um, focusing on ridding my body of like the inflammatory causing foods. Um, which for me is basically sugar because I don't drink milk. Dairy is another highly inflammatory food that a lot of people, it can trigger a lot of people, 
um, you know, inflammatory wise. And I don't, so I don't already eat dairy, so that's not something I have to worry about. And I don't really drink alcohol. The last time I had alcohol, I pretty much like swore it off because I drank way too much, got myself so sick. I was sick for like days afterwards. And then like my entire face was just like puffy and gross. So sugar, dairy, and alcohol are just like super inflammatory, um, I guess like food items to put in your body. I wouldn't call them food. Well, I know some people will call milk food, but <laughs> I'm vegan, so I do not call milk food. Um, but yeah, that's something that I'm really focusing on th this year is cutting out uh, sugar, especially because that one is the biggest trigger to my skin. And when I cut out sugar, I don't even really notice, I, I haven't noticed that there's like any kind of like weight loss or um, you know, like a loosening of the clothes or anything like that. It's because that's not really what it's about. It's just about removing an inflammatory substance from my body. And just so I feel good. I just feel better. I feel better when I'm not, and when I'm not eating it. And you know, you, you crave those things for a little while until the cravings just eventually stop. Like I, I'm not even craving anything right now, really. I mean, like every once in a while, I'll be like, oh my God, I want a piece of cake so bad. But then is that piece of cake worth it? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. <laughs> um, so another one that I'm gonna try to be focusing on is just getting in movement. Again, that has nothing to do with weight loss or getting fit. So it's like taking daily walks around the neighborhood. It's getting unconventional exercise where it doesn't really feel like you're exercising, but it's fun. So like bike riding, you know, we have a bike and I've got a little trailer that I hook on to the back of my bike and my son rides in and then we ride around the neighborhood or we ride to a park. Um, and then something else that I've done recently is I impulse bought roller skates in the middle of the night one night. <laughs> They're on their way here. I don't have them yet. I do plan on vlogging, you know, some of my skating experience when they come in because I think that'll be pretty fun. But just getting in some sort of like unconventional movement or just like movement in general, because I know I've spent a lot of the last year um, on the couch or not really moving that much. Definitely, I haven't worn my, my fitness watch <laughs> since the last time I worked out, which was in September, because um, that was the one day we went to the gym before we said, we're just gonna skip the gym until this whole thing is like done. I mean, who knows when that's gonna be? It could be like two years from now. I don't really know at this point. So for me, I'm really looking at just getting in more movement, whether it's just being like taking a walk 30 minutes a day or going out and roller skating while my kid, you know, rides his scooter because he did get a scooter from his grandpa for Christmas this year. So, you know, letting him scoot around and then me on my roller skates or whatever, just getting in some movement, not really focusing on losing weight or toning or, you know, getting lean or anything like that because that's not what I'm focusing on this year. And then just spending more time outdoors in general. I haven't spent a lot of time outdoors in the last year, honestly. Not because I'm afraid of the world, but just because it, a depression has been, <laughs> depression has been really bad the last year because of sort of like my mental state around everything that's going on in the world. And this year I'm really trying hard to get out of that funk and um, work more on my mental health and not let myself sit on the couch for hours and hours and hours and you know just let my kid veg out in front of the TV every single day because that's not good for him either, especially now that he's not going to school anymore. So, you know, getting outside more, just taking a walk, riding my bike, just playing at the park with my kid, just anything that gets me off the couch and out of this house. So some other things that I specifically wanna work on this year is reading more. I do spend way too much time on my phone. And for me, spending a lot of time on social media ends up leading to like a decline in my mental health because, you know, income, the comparisons, income, the influx of just information from other people. I follow a variety of other people and you know, sometimes it can be a little bit much, like everything. <laughs> it can just, it can be so detrimental to our mental health sometimes is to spend so much time on social media focusing on, you know, what's going on or what you think that you should be doing or what other people think that you should be doing or just like cutting all of that out, spending less time on your phone, spend more time reading, you know, go to the park and read a book. Get your outside time and get your reading time at the same time because, you know, we have to multitask as adults, <laughs> especially adults that are parents and, you know, we don't have a lot of time as it is. So we got to do multiple things at once. Um, and So regarding social media, one really big thing for me and which I think everybody should be doing in 2021 is like blocking out 
negativity or people who negatively affect your mental health. Like recently, there have been quite a few people that I didn't necessarily follow, um, but I blocked them from me like looking them up or them coming up in my explore page or people that would just post things that would just make me absolutely insane. So, I mean, that's gonna depend on how you feel about that. <laughs> but for me, um, what, my, what I need for my mental health and to like not just be totally just consumed by what everybody else is doing and what everybody else is thinking and like what everybody else is worrying about. I'm gonna worry about me and myself this year and not worry about so much everybody else. So like if I see somebody else doing something that's gonna negatively impact my mental health, I'm just blocking that this year. <laughs> I don't care who it is, I don't care like if we were friends at one point, which this, I mean, I'm not, I'm not doing this to my friends, but um, I can't, I can't have that stuff in my, my life anymore. It's just, it's too negatively draining on my mental health and my well being. And I was really noticing that towards the end of last year. And I was just like, this year I'm not gonna do it. I'm not going to put up with negative comments or ex like people who just only post negative stuff to get like a rise out of everybody or just to in uh, incite arguments or elicit drama. Like I'm not, I'm not into that. I'm just here to do my thing. I'm here to talk about what I love. I'm here to interact with people who um, I enjoy and I get along with and I'm not here for the drama and I'm just blocking drama this year. <laughs> if I see any drama, I'm just blocking it. Okay, like, nah, <laughs> I don't even feel bad about that. It's just what I need to do and I will block and have deleted negative comments because I'm just not dealing with that this year. Like, I, we don't need that. We do not need more negativity in this world. We need more people being kind to one another and for accepting people for their differences and for just being decent human beings. We need more decent human beings in this world this year and that's one way that I can be one is just by blocking out all the negative crap. <laughs> so as far as my list of healthy habits or <laughs> whatever you wanna call them that I'm adopting and that I think everybody should adopt, you know, this year, you know, we're, it's still early in the year, it's only January. Um, you know, we've already had a pretty interesting beginning of the year. <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of hope that it doesn't become more interesting. I would like for things to sort of like settle down. That would be nice. I don't, I don't need something happening every single month that's going to just like throw me off and like make me, <laughs> make me think even more, you know, like negatively about the world than I already do. But um, these are the things that I'm going to adopt in this year and hopefully get my mental health on track. Just try to survive until this all ends and we can do things normally again because I'm, I miss, I miss just going out and just like wandering around. I miss going to the zoo. I miss going to, um, I don't really miss the movies, but I, I miss, I just, I don't even really know what I miss. I just know that I miss something. You know, I miss my kid being able to go to school. He, <laughs> Now I'm gonna cry. He talks about school all the time. He, he misses his friends and um, I'm sad that I'm taking him out. I mean, I hope to one day be able to put him back in um, because he really just like thrives in that environment. I mean, we're doing okay, you know, at home. We're still learning and we're, we're taking it easy and we're not, you know, we're not like on a super rigid homeschool schedule or anything like that. We're just sort of like taking it as it is. I mean, he's only four. Um, so we're just sort of like focusing on just like some basic things just getting him prepared for if he does end up back in school. <laughs> uh, he's got one more year of preschool, maybe, um, and then he would start kindergarten, not this coming fall, but the next fall. So I think what I was saying is I'm just trying to focus on surviving another year. <laughs> oh, what was I saying is I miss, I just miss. I don't know, I, I just, I feel lonely even though I don't really feel like my life has changed all that much. I do miss just sort of like casually going to the grocery store and I miss, seeing people's faces and I miss just like interacting with people and people not being afraid of each other. I just, there's so much that I miss and I just hope that we are able as a society to get back to that at some point. Um, but until we are not, I'm gonna try to do things to make my mental health a little bit stronger because Lord knows last year I had many, many moments where I didn't think that I was going to <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna make it. Um, just like every 
negative thing that sort of happened last year. I just sort of had like a mental breakdown about like every single thing and I was just like crying and, but I have to be a mom and I have to do this and I have to be here, but it's hard. It's hard sometimes. And I know that I'm not the only person who feels like that. So I just, this year we're focusing on the good things and making it and mental health and healthy habits and just getting outside more and just like breathing the fresh air and taking our wellness supplements. <laughs> like that for me is what's gonna get me through this year. And I hope that this was helpful or just like insightful or just like you had somebody to sit and talk with for half an hour. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I thank you guys for being here and for coming back and supporting me and just being here and interacting with me, you know, video after video, cause I definitely need it. <laughs> um, I'm not even going to like say that I don't or that it's just like kind of nice, but like I kind of need it because I sometimes feel like I'm just falling and knowing that there are other people out there um, sort of like dealing with the same thing. It does, it does kind of help me. So thank you guys for being here. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.